Hi guys, as you may or may not know, I'm a slight Superman fan, but I try not to go over the top in my appreciation of the character. Yeah, I know, I drink from a Superman mug. Okay, okay. I own a Superman Hot Toys Christopher Reeve figure. But apart from that, well, well, I know, I've got a photograph of myself with Margot Kidder, who played Lois Lane, um, who I met a couple of months ago. Really nice lady, by the way. And, uh, yeah. I've also got the signed copy of uh, the Superman Blu-rays um, from Margot Kidder too. Okay, you got me. I'm a big fan of Superman. And uh, the fact that Man of Steel came out, and I, re I was one of the people that really, really uh, loved the film. Uh, I have to say, couldn't wait for a, a really nice set to come out, Blu-ray set, which uh, has happened. Unfortunately, just in America, so I had to import it over, which only took a couple of days to get to me, which was great. Um, I just want to show you off now. I know um, other videos have been done on it, but I just want to show you it. Uh, the US set is really nice because it has got quite a few discs inside. So, anyway, that's enough of me going on uh, facing the camera. Let's have a look at the set. Okay, so this is the box. The only reason I'm showing it off is it comes with the sticker there that shows the limited edition number of 50,000. Uh, quite a high number, but it is out in lots of countries in the world, unfortunately not in the UK, um, which is why I had to import it from Amazon.com. I use expedited delivery of course, so that um, saves on custom charges. I'd still have to pay some charges, but a lot less than if uh, it was handled through Royal Mail. But yeah, just want to show the box because of the um, sticker there. Okay, this is the actual display case itself. Now I think the best way to describe this is a really fancy biscuit uh, tin, which is kind of giving it a, a disservice really because it is really nicely designed. Um, I really like the glossy paint on the front, the reds and everything. It's really nice and shiny and glossy. If you go around the sides you've got like a gum metal grey look. And on the back and it's really nicely de uh, embossed on the front so the S stands out. I think it's going to look great on anyone's uh, Blu-ray display cabinet. Okay, so this is uh, the holder for the discs. It's um, of like a cardboard material. If you see on the front there, there's jor insignia. If you open it up, you've got Superman and a picture of Zod and all the discs inside we've got the 3D disc we've got the uh, 2D disc we've got the DVD which is region locked and we have a special features disc on there as well which I do believe is not available in the UK and another reason why I'm pleased that I picked up the US version um, the 3D it's nice, um, it's got some nice scenes where the, the 3D pops out. I, I really didn't notice the 3D um, very well at the cinema, but I uh, watched the jor scene and uh, yeah, it looks uh, fairly good. It's still a post-converted film though, and there are scenes in this movie that are quite dark, and I think that's where the 3D suffers, whereas uh, I will probably go back to the 2D version when I watch it again, um, just because it's just more brighter and colourful. Uh, the special features disc is really good. It's uh, there's a whole the whole movie on there. The way it does is you put it in and it plays the movie, and then all the making of stuff uh, is coming up with uh, picture in picture and everything describing on how the film was made. It, it's it's a fantastic uh, special feature, and also there's a fake documentary on there as well about the planet Krypton. Really big shame that it's not coming out in the UK. I, I don't know why that happens. I'm starting to have issues with Warner Brothers. They never brought out the, the Hobbit for the UK with the statue either. Um, and also, I've now found out with the Pacific Rim releases that, that there is actually an inferior audio on the UK version. Uh, we get a 5.1 16-bit uh, audio on the UK version, and it turns out that the US version has got a 7.1 audio and a 5.1, and they're 24-bit, uh, which is apparently a more detailed audio. So it just, I don't understand why that why that is happening, and it really um, is wrong. We should get, 
you know, the same discs really of, as what's available uh, in other countries, especially with Eng the English speaking tracks. Anyway, rant over about that. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice set. I'm glad I picked it up. Um, I'm just going to put the put it on the display stand now. That that's inside the uh, casing here. You got the little instruction showing how to set it up, and uh, here's the uh, the stand itself. Well, as you can see, guys, the display stand is all set up. As you can see, three little magnets are on there. And that allows the tin to just slot on like so and attach to the magnets. And there you go. Okay, I should mention the audios on this. You get English, French, Spanish and Portuguese. The English is DTS HD Master 7.1. The uh, French is uh, Quebec French, but that's just a 5.1 Dolby uh, stereo. And so is the Spanish, which is Latin American Spanish. Uh, the only other audio I could find on the 2D disc was uh, like a Chinese dialect as well. Uh, the subtitles are the same on on these films as as the audios. I I um, just checked that on the back with that one. Um, I didn't go through the actual disc itself. But uh, yeah, really pleased with uh, how it looks, and um, I'm glad I went for this version. Um, I'm definitely going to have this displayed. Uh, up on my cabinet and uh, it's going to look nice next to my other Superman collectibles. I'll catch you later guys.